Hi guys, Jamie from Boxing Life, and today we're going to be doing a review on the new Powerlock 2 boxing gloves. So, first off, Everlast have obviously just released these recently. Um, they seem to be updating quite a lot of their older models, which is good, I think, because I guess for for new people or people that have been around in kind of boxing, you'll know that some of the Everlast gloves, especially at beginner level, are not the greatest. Uh, but in terms of these, these are an upgrade from the Everlast Power, the original Everlast Everlast Power Lock glove. There's a couple of design options you can get these in. I went for the kind of the white and the grey option. Uh, you can get these in a kind of in a blood orange red color. I think there's a black and grey, and then there's also a grey and black version. So some color options out there. I'm sure Everlast will probably release some more soon. But overall, a good start with the colors. Um, in terms of the size, I got these in 14 ounce, which just kind of suit my my training skill like for what I do with my training so just thought it'd be worth uh, trying these out and let you know how it went on so let's have a closer look um, just to give you a bit of more finer detail of the glove up close this is them you can definitely tell it's kind of more synthetic leather just from the feel and touch obviously got the Everlast brand um, main logo on the top of the glove and then the power lock on the side, this is the thumb, see the thickness there. And now this is a quad layered foam that they've used for this. And just by using the heavy bag personally, I've found like it actually does feel quite cushiony when, when you're punching, which is quite nice. So a lot of, it's quite top heavy up there. It's not too bad though, it feels quite comfortable when it's on. And then I guess the other main feature, which um, I wasn't too sure how much it was going to be in the glove when I first bought it, was it's got this mesh panel all over the palm, as you can see. So another thing about, you know, this mesh, you know, Everlast claim it's there to, you know, stop, you know, your hand from getting too warm. But, you know, let's be honest, if you're going to be doing any type of boxing training, your hand is going to get warm inside the glove and it's going to sweat, especially if you're wearing things like hand wraps and stuff like that and if anything it's probably just to save money on using more of the synthetic leather probably for the whole structure of the glove um, but yeah no I like I guess it does it does make the gloves a bit lighter in that sense um, but they're still 14 ounce so it doesn't make that much of a difference and then obviously the interior lining of the glove if I just show you quickly um, they say it's kind of like a sweat resistant kind of material like it kind of feels like a kind of nylon kind of material on the inside I don't know if you can kind of see like that but you know it's not really going to stop it from getting wet if you're sweating from your workout so you know Everlast might, <laughs> might be able to convince some people of it but people that are used that have been boxing or and done boxing training are, are not stupid they know it's not gonna st stop your hand from getting or the glove from getting moist and um, from your sweat so that's just something to keep in mind and not to fall victim for um it doesn't really matter if your hands you know you'll be able to get, take your gloves out after so just something to keep in mind um yeah i'm not the biggest fan of this kind of type of material and the only reason for that is just because I feel it can de deteriorate the glove quite quickly um, and if you don't look after the gloves it will start you know it'll start to smell the bacteria will get caught I, I always find that actually gets trapped in that type of material personally unless you're not looking after them constantly if so if you're just using this for like training on the bag or you know doing some mitt work or using it as a secondary glove um, I don't I don't think it will be that much of an issue as long as you're not it's not your primary glove I think you're fine if you're just you know just doing it for fitness work it's this glove will be absolutely fine um, and then obviously I'll, I'll bring over this other glove just so I don't have to open it <laughs> with both hands um, so the the actual power lock I guess feature in there in the velcro strap 
and we've got some padding there as you can see um, and it's like a loop feature where you put you pull through the the strap just to make it more tighter and then obviously you bring it all the way around but I'll show you in the other glove and then it comes like that now what I've found like this bit here it kind of flaps actually so when you're oh, it's very minor you know the tighter you make it, it can kind of go over a little bit more so it's just something to keep in mind um, if that kind of annoys you um, and it does feel pretty secure however I will say you know like because this material isn't made out of leather you know like the rest of the glove I feel like the over it, it ruins the kind of overall structure I think it obviously it keeps your hand in place however it just your hand does feel that little bit looser just in this area I don't I don't know that's just me personally um, it just didn't feel the best for me when I was using it but overall I think Everlast have definitely done a good job upgrading it I think just looking at the finer detail in terms of the stitching they've done a much better job and the quality is just a lot better all around um, it is single stitching but it's also got some cool double stitching too um, so yeah that's kind of a bit of a closer look for you um, in terms of the thickness and the material and the new kind of feature with the power lock strap here. So uh, now that you have a bit of a closer look, I have to admit, you know, I think as much as these are an upgrade from the original power lock gloves, if you have a bit more budget and you want to stick with Everlast, I would definitely uh, go for the pro gloves instead. It'll be interesting to see if Everlast actually maybe upgrade that glove as well but at the moment i think um i'd probably go for that if you're you know if you've got a slightly bigger budget just another thing to note in these yeah i think if you're a beginner coming into the sport i think these are fine or if you just want a secondary pair of gloves so you're you know more maybe you're more expensive you don't want to be using your more expensive gloves all the time uh, these will definitely just you know do a good job i think these, they say it's uh, dual purpose so you can use it for mitt work bag work and sparring personally i wouldn't use these for sparring i'm sure they would be fine if you get these in like about 16 16 ounce or 14 ounce depending on your weight category but overall it's a good training it's a good training glove for beginners and it's sort of definitely um, it's not a long-term glove in my opinion just from what we're looking at there up close so but yeah, I recommend you go and check this glove out if you want to have a closer look at the different colours. You can uh, head to my website and read my written review if you want to, um, to get a bit more detail. Finally, thanks for watching guys, I really appreciate it. Hopefully this gave you a bit more insight into the Power Lock 2 gloves. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Um, I'll be doing lots more videos like this in the future, so hope you enjoyed. And thanks for watching, have a good one guys.